Right, level five. Hmm. Can he do work with it? Oh God! There's Kai Dai, Dai. Hi there. Welcome. And he welcomes him on the top of the stairs. Kai Dai is gonna be forced to drop out of disrupt. Oh, nice. He's trapped. He can't make it through himself. He's stuck inside. Oh my God! A taste of your own medicine, sir. He can't make it out. But finally, they do expire. The haste is still there. There's the stop. There's the waveform. There's the death. And that's the first blood. Oh my God. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Yeah. They might have been too greedy hanging around for that six minute rune. And now the stop will come out. Is Puppy and Mid show up to play here? Kilo's got way too many spirits on the ground right now, so he's baiting him back and in, but it only leads to MP showing up. He waveforms in and gets the snipe onto Duke's demise, but then again, it ended up working out again for Pilot Eyes. It baited into a, another pick off for Secret, so. Pi is just a crazy genius at the end of the day. His top one for M is going to get X pulled back into a torrent into a call, but he is a very big man and taking a lot of damage, but still not going down. Febby will slowly work his way, but finally, QL will show up to help out, and that will lead to the dunk. And that will lead you will do the little wait before this ravage comes out. It's such a juicy, sweet tool to have. It's got to be an opportunity when you have astrals and disruptions to kind of easily get him into position. We'll we'll see if they get teased or not. Puppy's up here joining him now, where Puppy had usually been, you know, following around Vel everywhere. He's actually decided to step away from that as bottom lane. We have a TP away from Pi, but MP's left behind. He has the okay. He's dead. Never mind. All right, I thought. Yeah. That's on Ferev. Will Ferev pop the Ravage here? He like does that move, like he's like, I'll do it. I will pop this Ravage if you come closer. But now he just slowly gets withered down and Kai today. He's like, I can't pop Ravage now. It'd be embarrassing. So he'll just have to die. A very sad life for Tidehunter. Man. Yeah, he is. Jesus. They'll finally get it. Federal Tower, which obviously kind of opens up more options to contest the Roche and not allow him to easily move in to get it. And mid one has not bothered moving yet from this mid lane. Very persistent on this mid lane game. Oh, top lane. What's happening? They're making a move for Puppy. Kiwo makes his jump in, and then he jumps out. Double rotation is amazing how durable the guy can be. It's just the problem is he has no way to move around. And once he gets slowed down like that, it's just slow and painful. But now, tier one goes down. He hopes that he's going to follow it up with a big rap turnaround play, but after he dishes out that, he has nothing much else to offer. And that's going to be the second wind of MVP. That's the boat sails on forward. Seeker might need to reevaluate this, and just as the return of Ferev from the infill, he will be going down. He will out of mana, but that's the follow up to Fevy. Now, look, move on in. Disruption will be popped out to help out from Pi, but Secret do bounce back here, it seems, and we'll be able to kind of stay alive. MVP don't have enough ammunition, don't have enough. And also during all that skirmish, I mean, I didn't see much from Bello. He'd been grinding away and finishing out his uh, Vanguard now, so he's very tanky while they make the jump for Pi. Self disruption, but QO, man. Bit of a difference in some of the storms we've been seeing uh, earlier today and yesterday. Crashing forward is going to be the boat as Secret are looking to move in. Earth Splitter to time out on top of the Astral here. Kaizen is certainly in trouble and he will go down. Very nice. Now Secret and that one. Very prized one too. I believe he had a killing spree bounty on his head. So extra gold going there. Okay, but look at the response play from MVP. Link in over and above the ancient from Velo. Oh, cancels out the dunk as the strength morph continues. Destruction comes forward, and that might be enough for MP to kind of step away. Velo is deep, but the rest of his team caught back in behind. Mid one drops down the hammer, but the Forev Ravage comes just a hair too late to be their assistant. Back and forward, that dunk occurred. Velo was able to get the fish on to MP, and now they look for Forev. Pull him back in to the ton. Gets the snipe, taking down Fevy with the gush, and then the follow-up right click. Forever is back, and he is angry. He is angry from the late stage, and he is looking for blood. Dubu trying to go away, not going to get it. Triple kill for Forever. Pretty confident that he'll be able to get in some quick and early charges, and now his team moving in for the Roche. Completely uncontested and extra ages here. MVP not looking to be... Oh yeah, 
He is slowed down, assaulted, purged up. On a bit here, MVP though, with Axe or not, looking for an opportunity to strike here. QO right in the midst. Frantic pings as it looks like they were able to spot out Ryzen. But could that be the mid? They even commit the Earth Splitter for this. And now's going to be the opportunity. They're going to go for Ferev. Ferev has the Ravage. So they can't hard commit for this. And now they're going to turn it around. Axe go on the QO. Nice time with the Ravage. We'll catch him on the way down. And that will lead to the takedown of the Aegis here. Here comes Betty. Goes up now. And they start dishing out the shots. But Ferev pops his mech. Turns around to the corner here. Re-engagement. QO looks to go for Ferev. But mid one's looking to keep him back. Now mid one could overextend. But he will force out. QL goes in for the finish and is trying to get down and we'll get it. Actual's not going to be coming soon enough. Throws back, but boom! Blast them both down with a wonderful, wonderful ulti. But Bell's back from the dead now, looking to move in, and it will lead to the takedown of the mid one Outworld. Oh my god. MVP now. Running back away as back and forth we go here. Secret not looking to lift it up. MP has just been farming top lane, by the way, all the meanwhile. But it looks like that will be the conclusion of it. Serious three for two trade. Four, I didn't even know if I was going to be able to get close enough to a mech. Suddenly he's got a triple kill. He's got his mech now. He's getting close to getting the blink. And here comes a move again for Pylai Dyke. The quick response is going to be the times the Earth Splitter, which they do step away from. Pi disrupted to avoid QO. As mid one looks to make his move, spot off the axe. The axe is going to get stuck in a wall on one where he's not going to get the better of it. Pops blade mill, but it's not good enough. And now it's going to be mid one, copy between two. Can QO get the finish? Oh, self astral keeps him alive. MP shows up and suddenly cleans house with a triple kill here. Forever making chase in. Dubu really nowhere to run. This is all secret all day. As they take another huge fight this time. But when they are definitely the better team in the better fighting situation with Ravage up and company, they are going to move. And they are going to find Dubu. He will take this gank, but the rest of the MVP will make their escape. Collected approach under a smoke. Ferev skips in and barely is able to catch QO with that Ravage. So QO so far, he will be able to leap himself out and away. And it looks like MVP might have the chance to dodge this gank by secret. Dubu tries to go for the TP, but he will get stomped in his place. It looks like it will cost him his life, but that could have been a lot worse for MVP. That kind of game, you know? Slow water torture. Works perfect when you have a morph on your team. Oh. The mid one's mid one, though. He's. He is a guy who's happy to take a fight. But you have QO on the other team, and okay, here we go. Ravage gonna be popped off right here. Bellows for the pop of the BK, then follows up with the call, but they're gonna go ahead and quickly already take out QO, take out the Ogre. Huge fight start for Secret. Bebby shows up to play now with a BKB. Looks to go on the Morphling here. Does he have enough damage to be able to move through him? Morphling instead jumps in, gets a triple, gets a cleanup on Ryzen, and now quickly Febby, the man left behind, all alone, caught between five secret members. He's going to get disrupted up and shot on down. MVP with the Ultra. Oh, once they're up, we'll pull off if necessary. How good is their tower pushing right now? Got some respectable damage between the OD and MP here, but QO goes in, wants to go for mid one. And then gets pulled on back. I mean, oh, oh my, oh my. Someone wants to get him. It's going to be Forev. Finishes him off. Very nicely done. They were just baking on the fact of using X marks to the spot. Storm jumps to hopefully slow this one out. But that leads to another takedown of QO. And that sort of should be these racks. That could even be the game. Open by MP. Almost going to be able to get the takedown. But ultimately does get brought back. Did one in trouble. There he gets dumped down. Disruption helps save in the meantime, but Bella will be able to move in and get the cough. And now looking to go for MP. Bebby's back down from the dead. Pops BKB and they'll get the morphling down too. All right, MVP. This with Ferev. They've only lost a tier three. This isn't the worst thing in the world. MVP can actually get a lot of work done here. Okay. They got to do it fast. Oh. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, because they are not moving. 
And that's going to lead to a jump in. Midwon will be able to get a disruption, save that file I die. That prompts Hugo to get the jump on the back liner, but he's got a Ghost Scepter, so he does stay alive. And now they make the moves. Midwon in round two, trying to catch QO. On the other side, Bebby and company need to round up over the other side as they make the jump for QO. It's like a Ravix went off over here. They're making the jump for Fellow. They're going to get it. MP with the double as they head on back out. It looks like Secret were also able to get the catch here. They stop. It's going to be missed time. QO able to make it to the high ground. But he does get jabbed on down. That will certainly be the Roche first Secret. As the fight was split down the middle, it didn't matter. Secret still had the power advantage. And just as fast as poor Kilo got three charges, he loses one of them. I was meant to have it will present itself. I imagine Secret will be taking things a bit disciplined now. If they go in, these are quick racks. Will they continue for more? MVP all back in attendance here. What will they do for what could be their final hold in game number two? And Secret just moments away from being able to take us to a three-game series. We'll see if MVP have anything to say. Bellow's going to make the first move, jumps in, but that's where the disruption comes out. So they look to change course and head the other way. Uh, the Earth Splitter is going to be off his mark. They make it go for MP, but he gets now an actual save. These steeps coming out from Secret are just out of control. MP trying to muscle his way through the strength. Can they burst him down? They finally get him down, but that's all going to be for the AJs. And suddenly Midwan just absolutely drops down Chaos and will quickly delete two heroes from the game. And it looks like Fedby is also going to take it and sent to the Shadow Realm. He's gone. These Rax is set to go. Long jump, though, from QO. Managed to get the finish up for Rev. That was a bit of payback, I imagine. But that doesn't stop them from getting the Rax, it looks like. Both MP and Mid-1 finishing it out. Ow. They throw in the towel. Well, we're going to game three. That's good because secret show that they definitely still have a lot of smoke in them. And I don't know. Drow doesn't win games, Lumi. Is that what I'm learning? Yeah. Yeah.